Good afternoon. Uh, I introduce Professor Roy Homburg, uh, Head of Research at the Homerton Fertility Center. Welcome, Roy. Uh, today, I'm trying to ask you a few questions which center around IVF and PCOS. And it's about the work you have done. Your contribution to polycystic ovarian syndrome has been immense since the 1920s or the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, th th I still believe you write one of the best books in the world, and especially one on ovulation induction. And your work around finding the causative factors around PCOS and its treatment have run a lot of our research programs for a long time. I wish to start with one of your papers you wrote in Human Reproduction on the androgen circle. Uh, would you be able to tell us a bit about that paper which got published in Human Reproduction as an editorial? Yes, I, I, uh, first of all, thank you for the uh, introduction. If I was in my right mind, I'd uh, retire now with that sort of praise. Uh, the androgen circle, uh, I, it's the belief that androgen excess uh, is at the center of everything to do with uh, PCOS. And the circle starts off uh, with uh, a probable uh, exposure to the fetus of high androgen levels during the pregnancy. And once that is there, then the number of follicles in the ovary grows. And we've gone from excess androgen exposure to multiple follicle development which will produce high levels of uh, AMH. And here the circle really begins. Because with the high levels of uh, AMH, they counteract the action of uh, FSH in adult life. And as you know, uh, FSH is there uh, to develop follicles and bring them to ovulation. So the more AMH uh, there is in there opposing this action of FSH, the more likely we are to have an ovulation. Not only that, at this stage we probably have a high LH and uh, many of these PCOS women uh, will have uh, high insulin values and these also contribute uh, to the process of uh, an ovulation. There's a beautiful, very recent paper uh, from the uh, French group headed by uh, Tata et al. Uh, that shows that AMH uh, given uh, to uh, pregnant mice can produce uh, babies with uh, PCOS and also they just demonstrated very beautifully that AMH can induce uh, high pulsatility of uh, GnRH producing uh, high levels of LH. So the AMH is very much implicated uh, in the pathophysiology uh, of PCOS. Once we have this circle of events that started, then we will get the full phenotype of PCOS, including the uh, signs of hyperandrogenism, hirsutism, uh, acne, oligomenorrhea. This the uh, PCOS patient uh, will carry into uh, her uh, normal life and she will get pregnant with the uh, treatment that we can give today. Many of these PCOS patients or most of them will get pregnant and they will induce uh, hyper exposure to testosterone of the fetus and we start the circle all over again. <laughs> 